Hi, so my name is Yanisil Gonzalez, and today me and my partner Jose will be talking and giving a review about the film um, Pride of Our Nation. And so this film is just a part of a series of episodes that form into one big um, documentary, and it's basically about war, um, and it's mainly also focusing on the World War II um, and the experiences of these soldiers of family members um and stuff like that and so the point that director ken burns and lynn novick were trying to make during the process of these documentaries were to really point out what these um family members went through what the soldiers went through um so in the film you can see a lot of imagery um of like pictures of the past and you know of the world war when it was going on what was going on and so the best way that they were able to incorporate those stories into their documentary were by getting interviewed from real life people that actually experienced what it was like to be in the world war ii um and so i mean in the film you can see plenty of people family members um soldiers themselves talking about what their experiences were like and how they went from being innocent and going on about their everyday lives um you know specific soldiers just becoming very cold-hearted um feeling trauma coming back from the war a completely different person different mindsets um and so um there's also this one specific clip starting in the beginning of the film where um one of the soldiers is talking about his experience and before he even went to the war and how he knew um that he was probably not gonna make it um him and his older brother had already gone um had already been enrolled into the uh, the the war and so um you know he basically was telling his sister like hey i need you to step up for me um i'm probably going on this mission and not coming back like i need you to face the fact that you know this is something real this is something that's going on um and so you know in this film it really does um get sort of a sense of heart of what what us viewers were like want to put ourselves in those shoes and hopefully not experience that again and so you know um this specific documentary really bases off specific specifically from four american towns um mobile alabama sacramento california uh, Whitsbury, Connecticut, and Lorraine, Minnesota. And so, I mean, from these towns, you know, we get what was going on during that time, um, how the women had to step up and really put in the works um, to create something um, and work in the factories and, you know, really just not depend on the men that were around anymore because th that's something that, you know, men were always assigned to do. And so, you know, overall, this film was very heartbreaking. Um, it it just was heartfelt because of how traumatizing you realize that those experiences were not only for, like, the family members, but for the soldiers, um, specifically the soldiers who had to go into war and just lose loved ones while they were there. Um, it was obviously a very traumatic experience, and those who made it out... Um, they were able to speak about their story through this documentary of pride of our nation um so overall i think this film was very great um in order in forms of like educating us and telling us like hey you really need to pay attention to these parts of history because they're a part of our history american history um you know it's what we endured what our ancestors um fought for and why we are where we are today um and now i'm gonna hand it off to my partner jose so he can give his perspective on this film um but in the meanwhile i will also give some sort of imagery um show images of the film that were shown to us that way you guys can sort of see that as well thank you
Hello everyone, today we are doing a review on Pride of Our Nation and we already had a summary about what the documentary was about and now we're we're going to focus on the things that were integrated into the film to make it as good as it was. Well, for starters, we'll, we'll do the, the scenes that were in the film that were backtracked to World War II so they had the battles that were going on and you can see when people were arriving in the ships and going into battle which for my part i feel like it was really helpful to like see it um and be able to kind of live what they were living and other than that we have the music that was integrated into the film the music that was integrated to the film was mostly based on the scenes that were occurring at the time. So for example, we had a wedding throughout this film and the tonality of the music was more more of like it went with the with the with the thing feeling of a wedding. And in comparison to when one of the Eller brothers died, um that the tonality of the music was much more of a sad tone and going on more with the walter and roland Eller brothers so there were two brothers that went into battle together and unfortunately one didn't come back and we have walter saying uh his his story and like what he lived through in that time and even now so to give you guys a brief summary about that, uh, Walter Eller and Roland Eller, as I said, went, um, went and joined the force together and they were together during these, these battles as Walter couldn't find his brother for approximately five, five weeks. And he, he, like at this time, it was somewhat normal for them not to have communication right away as they would be sending cards or things like that they didn't have talk technology that we have today but after um a lot of time passed he got noticed that um roland and his whole squad that was with him unfortunately died and it was something that really struck walter and i feel like this was something else that made it really really good in the film as they had people that lived world war ii that served and have them tell their, their part of the stories i think that really made this documentary a really good really good documentary and i feel like everything that i've said and that was integrated was things that really made the documentary a really pleasant thing to see as documentaries for some part aren't really that interesting and personally watching this documentary about world war ii i could say that it really transmitted a message even with the elder brothers having one of the brothers tell his story and see the thing that he transmitted really affected my my um my point of view and yeah i think to sum everything up this was a really good documentary and I really do recommend it. So thank you everyone for watching. Please like and subscribe and join our channel.